You love that first sip of coffee in the morning, right? That warm, aromatic boost that kicks your brain into gear. But what if I told you that when you drink that coffee could be just as important as if you drink it, and that by timing it right, you could unlock a powerful natural cleansing process in your body called autophagy? Okay, let's back up autophagy. Sounds complicated, but it's simple. Think of it as your body's cellular recycling program. When you're not eating, say when you're fasting overnight, your cells start to clean house. They break down old damaged parts and recycle them for energy or to build new healthy cells. This process is amazing for your long-term health, helping to fight inflammation, slow down aging, and protect against diseases. It's like a deep clean for your insides. Now where does coffee fit in? Here's the magic. Coffee, specifically caffeine, can actually stimulate autophagy. Studies have shown that it can kickstart this cellular cleanup process, giving your body an extra boost in its recycling efforts. So coffee is good for autophagy? Great. But here's the twist, and it's a big one. The timing is everything. Most of us wake up and immediately reach for the coffee pot. But think about it. When you wake up, your body is already in a prime state of autophagy from your overnight fast. It's been working hard all night cleaning things up. The problem is, if you add anything with calories, like milk, cream, or sugar to your coffee, you're telling your body the fast is over. Your insulin levels spike, and that immediately shuts down the autophagy process. All that hard work your body was doing overnight just comes to a screeching halt. You've slammed the brakes on your cellular cleanup crew. So how do you get the best of both worlds? The energy from coffee and the benefits of autophagy? Here's the science-backed routine. First, upon waking, drink a big glass of water. Rehydrate. Give your body a few minutes. Then if you want to maximize autophagy, wait at least 90 minutes to two hours after you wake up to have your first coffee. This allows your body's natural cortisol cycle to peak and fall so you're not just piling caffeine on top of your body's own natural wake-up signal. And here's the most important part. Drink it black. No sugar, no milk, no cream, just black coffee. That way you get the caffeine to further stimulate autophagy without the calories that would shut it down. You're essentially extending that beneficial fasting state and giving it a supercharged boost. Think of it like this. Your body's been cleaning all night. By drinking black coffee a couple of hours after waking, you're telling the cleaning crew, Hey, don't stop now. Here's some extra energy to finish the job. So tomorrow morning, try this. Wake up, hydrate, wait a bit, and then enjoy that beautiful cup of black coffee. You'll not only feel the energy, but you'll know you're doing something incredible for your long-term health. One sip at a time.